So with that background in mind, let's go and try the or study the first data structure, something called as the hierarchical try. So what we are doing right now is we understood that try based algorithms or or software implementations they are going to work uh, better after for the lookup operation. Can I extend the same thing for the for the uh, classifier as well? Classifier also of course has got. Uh, set up uh, rules and those rules are also in the prefix format. Assuming all the fields are expressed in the prefix format, we can use this kind of the uh, try based algorithm. So what is the hierarchical try? We will try to understand with an example. So let us say I got the uh, uh, rule with the two fields for the sake of simplicity I am taking two here. R1 is having a prefix 00 star and the second one is also 00 star and R2 is also got a set of prefix this is 10 star and this is 0 star. You can simply think of this might be the source IP address and this is the destination IP address. Assuming only these two fields I want to do the R build the classifier. So, rule R3 says any prefix with 10 star and then the D2 also will have 10 star and R4 says this is 1 1 star and then this is 1 1 star. Now, I want to build a kind of the try based data structure and the way hierarchical try works is you take one dimension at a time and then construct a try a binary try for one dimension and then go to the second dimension and then construct a try for the second dimension. So, as many number of the dimensions you have got those many times you need to do this construction person wherever it is applicable you need to construct a binary try in the hierarchical fashion. So, first let us take the case of the uh, uh, dimension D1 and then try to build the uh, uh, try and the rule R1 first the source IP address field is actually saying 0 followed by 0, this is 0, this is 0 and uh, this 0, 0 star is taken care. I am going to mark this with the uh, as well to indicate the as one and the second possible prefix is 1, 0 star for rule R2 and R3. I am going to have a node here and then a 0, I am going to come back 1 followed by 0 and I am going to highlight this and the third these two are taken care now and the third possibility is 1 1 euro star 1 is already there and I am going to have a node here this will denote the 1 1 star. So, for all possible prefix combinations of the first dimension the job is done now. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to construct a second level try this kind of the try is for the dimension D1 and I am going to do a construction for the second level. So, what are the unique combinations 0 0 star is in the rule R1. So, when this is applicable it is applicable when R1 the first dimension 0 0 star. So, that is thus chain from here to here. What I am going to here is I am going to add a link this is a no cost link or you can think of as a dummy link and go to a node which is the root node for the second dimension binary try and construct the anytime. So, this is 0 0 star I am going to differentiate the uh, first dimension second dimension with the circular nodes for the first dimension and the uh, rectangular nodes for the second dimension. So, this says that uh, on 0 is 0 0 star. So, you go here and mark this as as a parameter 0 0 star 0 0 star for the first dimension you came here and another 0 0 star you came here this is the this is the node which is representing the rule r1 in your classifier so remember this doesn't cost you anything you are not reading anything from the uh, header so rule r1 is done now and rule r2 is take what it is saying 1 0 star. So, this is the node which is representing 10 star and there are two combinations R2 says 
uh, as usual, I'm going to have a dummy link or the no cost link from this node to the next level uh, uh, root node. And then on zero, it is else. This is the rule node which is denoting or representing R2. This case is now taken care. And to go to rule R3 and for the same prefix 10 star, this can be 10 star. So on 1, you come here. And then in the 0, you go to the left. This is the node which is representing the rule number R3. So 10 star followed by 10 star is the rule number R3 that is supposed to match. As usual, I add a no cost link to the from this node to node and then have two nodes, one on the right and second one on the right. This is the one. So this is the rule which is representing rule number R3. So this from here to here, whatever you have, this is the dimension D2. This is the uh, set of uh, nodes inside your uh, tri which is corresponding to the dimension D2. So like this, I can go to any number. If I have a third dimension, all that I need to do is again, so let's say I have dimension D3 and then uh, the combination is something like this. Maybe the dimension D3, if it is a prefix format, let's say this is zero star. And what I need to do, go to R1, so this is 0, 0 star is taken care, another 0, 0 star is taken care and now add a no cost link to the third level, this one maybe I will add oval shape to this one and then 0 star, go here and this is it will become your node uh, rule number R1. So I need to highlight this. So like this, any number of the fields that you got inside your rules those many times uh, or those many that is the hierarchy in the order first to, from the r1 to r d1 to d2 to d3 that's how i keep on proceeding so this kind of structure is called as the hierarchical try so now it is easy to note that um, so okay, if the fields are some w bit width so in the first level you might have w pointer references and if the second dimension is also W field, then you will have again W number of the pointer references to do and so forth. So if W is the highest width, when I say width, this is the width 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 star. So what is the width of this? This in this case is the 5 bit. 5 W is the width and D is the dimension. In the worst case, what is the lookup time this data structure is going to take? Uh, w times the D. So every dimension I am going to make W references, then in all overall to figure it out what is the reference is going to take. Uh, one rule evaluation is going to take W cross T. And it is possible that whatever rule you are going to evaluate may not work out, you need to backtrack. Uh, uh, again, remember one rule, one track evaluation. If I want to evaluate one rule, then that will take W cross D to amount of the number of the pointer references. When it fails, then we'll come back to that in a minute when we discuss the uh, performance of this algorithm at the end of uh, or after taking a couple of more examples. So this is how you construct the binary try, uh, sorry, hierarchical try, a binary try for every dimension attached appropriately inside this uh, structure. So let's take a second example. Here is a uh, uh, classifier with seven rules and there are only two dimensions just for the sake of simplicity. R1 is 0, 0 star and then 1, 1, 0 star. And let's try to construct the hierarchical try for this uh, classifier. So as usual, I take one dimension and then build a binary try and 0, 0 star is the one that I want build. So this is a 0, this is a 0 and this 0, 0 star is now taken care. And similarly, one another possible is, is you can have 0 star as this one. That's why I have highlighted this node also with the uh, uh, red color and 0, 0 star is indicated by this. And what is the other combination I got? 
the other combination is one zero star that is in the class, uh, rule number r3 this is one this is a zero and this node is highlighted and similarly uh, okay is that the only thing that you got okay and star is there or uh, zero zero star is these two are taken care one zero star is taken care zero star is taken care and star is taken care because this is the node which is indicating the star the root node itself so now go, let's go to the second level when rule r1 says when the prefix in the dimension d1 is zero zero star is we came here and one one zero star is the what what you look, need to look for r one one star this is the rule r2 one and one this is the node which is indicating rule number r2 and one one zero star is the one which is indicating the uh, rule number r1 this is the node which is actually getting the rule number r1 so r1 r2 story is done now and now so with the zero star prefix zero star i came here to this node i add a pointer to the level and the what are the possible combinations one says the zero one star this is a zero and this is a one and this is the node which is actually corresponding to rule number r4 uh, yeah and then one zero star is also another combination this is the one this is a zero and this is a node which is actually indicating the rule number r5 and rule number r6 says zero star followed by one star this is the node which is actually indicating the rule number r6 and i continue doing this uh one zero star is at the first level r3 case is left and then in one star so this is the node which is actually indicating rule number r3 and i continue doing this so there is rule number r7 which is actually star star is this node i took a no cost link to this no particular root of the node and then this says 0 0 star a 1 a 1 you came here this is the node which is actually indicating rule number r7 so r1 r2 r3 r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 r6 r7 all the seven rules are taken care that's the end of it this is how you construct the hierarchical tree for any given uh, classifier or the set of rules mm, now let's try to elevate so let's say my input ip address or the one is uh, let's say 0 0 for the dimension d1 and then for the dimension g2 it is 1 1 0 then for these two zeros i take this path for this 1 1 0 i take this path and i see that my correct standing is at this particular node the rule r1 has matched so let's take the second case if let's say the dimension d1 is still 0 0 and the second case dimension d2 is also 0 0 now how does the rule evaluation starts i read the first 0 0 and as usual i take this path come to this particular node and then next zero i read and but i don't have for the second level i came here with the no cost link once i come here i come to this particular node and then there is no no rule uh, uh, actually node which is actually connected to this particular node with the input possible input of zero then what do i do so in order to do that what you need to do is you need to go back to this particular node or at one level to this particular node and then try other combinations so there is a combination if 0 0 star is not the thing then might be 0 star might work because there are some rules which is in the first dimension which are having the zero starting with 0 star 0 0 star is a subset of 0 star i go to the one level high level, high level and then try to evaluate so if i come to this node then again i take the no cost link to this particular node and try 0 0 star in the second i mentioned again there is no link i come here and then take this i come here and then there is no uh, link or the node connected to this particular node which is having uh, another possible input of zero so that fails again i am going to back track all the way to this node and again go back to the root node and then what is the next possible thing that i can do 
जीरो जीरो स्टार इज इट अ सबसेट ऑफ एनी अदर रूल अदर देन जीरो स्टार इट हैपन्स दैट स्टार इज एक्चुअली ए सुपर सेट ऑफ जीरो जीरो स्टार और इन अदर वर्ड्स जीरो जीरो स्टार इज द सबसेट ऑफ जीरो स्टार आई ट्राई ए कॉम्बिनेशन विथ दी स्टार मे बी आई टेक दिस पाथ एंड कम टू दिस नोट एंड देन आई ट्राई जीरो जीरो स्टार सो इन दिस केस did i write no oh, i write wrote wrongly i think this supposed to be zero this supposed to be zero just make a note of that there is a typo i put the notes correctly but wrote one in, in the label that's supposed to be zero so uh, zero zero in this dimension i try to match and i find a match and i see that uh, r7 is the best match so remember again if your input is zero zero star for the first dimension and zero zero star for the first dim second dimension then you first attempt r1 it fails second time you attempt r2 it fails third time you uh, try with r4 and that fails with r5 it fails with r6 it fails and finally uh, we need to backtrack to the root node when the r7 is star that time second time 0 0 star Uh, is in the second dimension will come to the rule r7 so 0 0 star and again 0 0 star for the d1 and d2 will take you to uh, rule um, applicable rule is r7 that's how you find out what is the applicable rule for a given set of the rules and the input or a given classifier and the uh, input packet let's take another example and try to construct the same hierarchical try here is the uh, second example Uh, so the rule r1 say 0 0 star so 0 0 star you come here and uh, second this is taken care and for these two i am going to add 1 followed by 0 it uh, taken care and the third one is 1 1 star and this is the node that created so this is taken care and star is any anyway taken care by making the root node itself or highlighting the root node so one dimension is complete and second dimension take the first rule this is 0 0 star this is the rule r1 so this is 0 this is 0 and uh, one for one zero combination so this is the zero or is one this is the rule r2 and second is one zero star this is the rule r3 and the one one star in the first dimension followed by One one star. So this is the rule R four, and finally for a star, a zero zero star. So this is the rule for the R five. So this is how you construct the uh, hierarchical try one dimension at a time. So with that background, let's try to understand the performance of this kind of the fire. a uh, hierarchical try in terms of the storage it requires uh, uh, d cross w uh, meaning bring in d cross w w is the width d is the dimension so in every dimension w bits uh, number of the nodes are actually are combinations are actually created uh, so uh, when i say d cross w it uh, w means that uh, for all possible combinations of the w meaning if w is 2 bits you need to take care of these many combinations four so my tree would look like uh, this one 0 1 and 0 1 0 one. so this is the w bit try that much storage is required this i need to replicate d number of the times dimension 1 this one and for every node here there is another w bit try that is possible that is pull tree is possible so w bit try complete binary tree for one dimension another w bit to complete binary tree for the second dimension totally how many number of the times you need to do this d times as many number of the dimension that is the storage out amount of the storage that this structure will take and the searching time in the worst case one branch searching from the uh, root node to one of the branch searching would take uh, d cross w this is the uh, one d1 and this is my d2 
and width here is w1 is 2 and w2 is also 2 and you require four number of the d cross w number of the pointer references for one thread and if the prefix match fails for this case one rule you need to backtrack and then explore the other possibilities so in that case what is the worst case number or possibilities of the backtracking that i can do and in all total how many number of the references or backtrack i need to try is uh, w number of the back references one dimension i go and then i try the alternatives so w power to the power of d so w is the one dimension act tracking and how many times i need to do d number of the times so i need to in the worst case i need to explore all possible complete binary trees in every dimension that turns out to be uh, w into w into w how many times t times so those many times if i explore all will combination then you will get to the so that is the worst case possibility that's why the search time for this uh, 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 the classifier is w to the power of d so uh, now is it the best i can do uh, what is that uh, alternative thing that I can do? W to the power of T is XL, D is actually quite complex. Many, many number of the backtracking you may need to do in the worst case. Can I minimize the number of the backtracking? And then if I want to minimize the backtracking, what is the alternate uh, uh, modification that I need to do inside my hierarchical try or this data structure? Or how do I actually do that? The answer turns out to be a modification to the basic uh, hierarchical try this is called as a set pruning tree uh, try what it done here is for any combination of the uh, rule set if evaluation of one rule fails and uh, if i in, instead of doing the backtracking i will explore what are the other possible applicable rules uh, for this uh, currently where I stand and then attach those combinations of uh, nodes as a subset to the, but you know let's take an example and then try to understand what is I am trying to say. Let's say rule R1 we have got two dimension D1 and D2 rule R1 says the first dimension is 0 0 star and the second dimension is 1 1 star and rule R2 says uh, this is a star and then this is 1 0 star. Now construction of the try as usual start with the uh, one dimension at a time. Now for let me construct the uh, hierarchical try for this one and then try to do the modification. So 0 0 star will take me here and then I will highlight this and the second is star itself and I will make this node as the uh, this, one. this is the uh, first dimension D to all combinations are taken care and now I go to the second level and then try to build the region. so I in here add a no cost link to the second and then the I take one one star is a combination so I add a node here this is on one this is on the one and I let this this is the rule number R1 the second one says when the d1's prefix is star that time on a one zero combination i am going to match the rule r2 so i'll add a no cost link to this one and then one on the right hand side and zero on the left hand side and this is the node which is actually denoting rule number r2 now let's say the input the packet has got uh, this combination d1 has got uh, 0 0 uh, star it might be more than 2 bits that is ok and D2's fields are starting with 1 0 star. Now I take these uh, 2 bits and I traverse this link and then I uh, with no cost link I come to this node and then try to read 1 0 star. So 1 is there I come to this node and then try to read a 0 and it is not possible because there is no left child to this particular node right now. So that is not possible and I need to backtrack. Backtrack where? So what is the other possibilities? 
what is the node if d00 star is not applicable what is the other rule that is applicable here in this case of the star from here all the way to this start node i am going to backtrack so then i will try to explore because 00 star is a subset of star this rule r2 case is valid now i try to read 10 star so i come to this node one of one i come here on the dimension d to this one and then on the zero i come to this node okay that is match now i say that for 00 star 10 star rule r2 is the one which is actually applicable this is the best match that i can find now uh, this requires backtracking all the way from this node to the root node i went and then oh. if let's say i don't want to do the backtracking backtracking is the one which is actually adding complexity to my hierarchical tree that's why this run time the lookup operation is becoming expensive what i want to do is uh, i take this uh, rule set and then 10 star is another possibility that is applicable when 00 star is also a prefix so i take that combination and then add that rule the corresponding nodes to this in itself so let me highlight that with a different color maybe with the color this is the 0 when your input is 00 star as is the case in this one and 1 followed by 0 is valid but it is valid it is taking me to say that this is the rule number r2 by replicating when the input is let's say possibility if packet let's p1 and p2 p2 has got 11 star and then 10 star so in that case evaluation of this one anyway uh, i don't have any child with the value in, uh, with a value 1 so only possibility is to treat this as a star and then go to this node and then do the elevation 10 star is matching uh, but even when the 00 star is there that time also can because of the second dimension evaluation fails i need to evaluate or explore the rule number r2 rule number r2 is applicable when the dimension d one's first rule 00 star is also a possibility that's why i replicated here so this avoids the by taking such applicable rules when one is the one rule uh, prefix is subset of the other one such uh, overlap is possible i am going to do the uh, node replication and then appropriate appropriate branches to the existing uh, structure and then try to avoid the uh, uh, backtracking thereby i bring the efficiency or the number of the uh, pointer lookups are actually minimized but this comes it is obvious to note that comes with the expense of the node replication node replication implies that you require more storage uh, to store your classifier uh, to keep it in the router the memory overall memory size requirement is going to increase so this kind of the structure which comes at the cost of the or the expense of the storage space but avoids the back tracking is called as the set pointing t let's take a couple of more examples so here is a classifier and uh, it says that you construct the set pointing try so let's uh, again do one dimension at a time as usual let's first construct the hierarchical try 0 0 star this k combination i have got 0 0 star and then a star is also possible that is also uh, the root node is highlighted these two prefixes are now taken care one zero star is another possibility this is the one this is a zero this is a node which is corresponding to one zero star in the dimension d1 and one one star is the another possibility is done now let's go to the uh, all combinations in the first dimension are taken care now as usual let's go here so 0 0 star is the another possibility 1 0 and 0 and this is the uh, node which is corresponding to the uh, rule number r1 and uh, with that r1 again i continued in this 1 1 0 star is there uh, i came here and then with 0 this is the rule number r2 and then uh, this is taken care this is 1 0 star is 1 followed by 0 this is the node corresponding to rule number r3 and uh, again uh, 11 star and then uh, this is a one this is a one and then 
this is the node which is corresponding to rule number r4 and finally uh, Now at this stage, uh, we have constructed the for all the combinations. So okay, one more is left out. This is the this combination. This is the node which is corresponding to rule number R five star and then a zero and a zero. Uh, there is a little uh, as in the order in which they are appearing. Now uh, you need to add the replicate the rules. The nodes which are actually uh, highlighted in the green color are the nodes which are replicated so what are the rules that are replicated so when the input is the, in the first dimension is 10 star you came here and then if your subsequent input is 0 you came here r2 and if that fails if let's say the input is this one uh, 10 in the dimension 0 and d2 is 0 0 star so 1 0 star i came here and then reading the first bit of the dimension d2 i came here uh, i am trying to explore whether 1 0 star and uh, to this rule number r2 is applicable and uh, i read the second zero then i have uh, 0 0 star 0 star is actually subset of the 0 0 star but in that case instead of saying that uh, Uh, this is the rule number r5 is more specific than the r2 and uh, what i'm going to do is i say that instead of doing the back tracking i'm going to say that rule r5 is applicable here that's why i replicated this rule at this point of time similarly if the input is 1 1 in the star in the first dimension and then a 0 0 star in the second dimension so 1 1 0 star i came to this node and then on a zero and a zero i came to node so if one one uh, star i am looking for one one i'm when i'm reading the one one star of the first dimension i am trying to evaluate the possibility of the applicable rule r5 if that fails then uh, second i am mean, supposed to get a one one star but that is not happening so if that is not the case i am going to try other rule which is the possibility of r5 so which is 0 0 star so this is going to be 5 even if the prefix in the first dimension is 1 1 star so 1 1 star is a subset of the star and uh, in the second dimension i didn't get 1 1 star uh, but then i will i need to backtrack and then instead of doing that i also say that 0 0 star is applicable right here so the, by doing the right uh, replication i and here so that's how i consider whatever is the applicable rule for that combination i am going to add the uh, replicate the rules and then construct the uh, set to try